The bakers of Weber's Bread present your all-star Western Theater. Drifting along, singing a song under a western. From Hollywood comes your all-star Western Theater, starring America's great Western singers, Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage. Today's guest star is the Western Screen's famous cowboy singing star, Jimmy Wakely. This is Cottonseed Clark, and here are the riders of the Purple Sage. At the request of you all, Star Western Theater listeners, the writers of the Purple Sage turn to another of those fine, simple heart songs of the West that has made them so popular all over the nation. Their very first phonograph recording of a few years back, Hang Your Head in Shame. Don't your conscience ever bother you? time you hear my name, try and think of all that I've gone through, and hang your head in shame. Someone came along and took my place, then you gave me all the blame. To your all-star Western theater today comes that popular young singing cowboy of the Western screen riding in for a return visit with you folks. And here he is, Jimmy Wakely. Down below 
the Rio Grande, Senorita held my hand and sweetly sang a melody. Without a worry or a care, oh, she gave me from her hair and whispered, "Si, Senor, si, si." In a cabaret, we danced the hours away. Her eyes told more than words could say. I told her I had to go, left her down in Mexico, while the band played Spanish two steps soft and low. Jimmy Wakely appears with the writers of the Purple Sage in a musical story entitled Down Mexico Way. Our scene is the Bar X Ranch, located down on the Mexican border in southern Texas. All the hands have just received their month's pay. And to a cowboy, that means getting dutied up and heading in any direction where there's a good time to be ahead. And believe me, the hands of the Bar X are no exception. Well, what do you say we all head down towards Del Rio? Oh, uh, not me. And besides, you just want to go back and try to beat that fool marble machine. Yeah, and I'd have beat it last time if I hadn't run out of money. Yeah, yeah. just one more nickel and you'd have had uh, more than likely uh, a stick of bubble gum or something like that there. <laughs> well, that's these present prices. Is that bad? Well, I'm in favor of riding over into Mexico myself. Hey, that's right. There's a big fiesta going on over there tonight. Hey, here comes Wakely. Let's see what he thinks about the idea. All right. Well, have you boys made up your mind what you want to do yet? Yeah, well, uh, we figured we'd ride across the border. They got some big doings over there tonight. Well, you can count me out. Well, what do you want to do? Anything but crossing that border. I can't see what fun we'll have over there. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You haven't got anything but time to lose. And money. Well, wherever we go or whatever we do, we know we're coming home broke, so don't count your money. <laughs> oh, come on, Jimmy. Uh, come on, go with us. All right, but remember, this is your idea and not mine. Boy, I'll never forget last year at the fiesta. Yeah. I wonder if Chiquito will be on hand this year. If she is, you stay away from her. I saw her first. Yeah, that was last year. Well, if we've got to go, let's commence to begin. Yeah, uh, say, Al, how about saddling my horse for me? Oh, you always call on good old Slowy to do the dirty work. I'm going to hide this $10 bill here so I won't be broke when I get back. (laughs) Say, I just happened to think of something. What's that, Al? I mailed a letter to Dallas a couple of days ago. I wonder if it got there. Well, I guess so. Why'd you ask? Well, you see, I addressed it to Fort Worth. Oh, no. Slowly. You're becoming more of a moron every day. Well, I hope I'm deserving of it. You anyway. are. But that's all, brother. <laughs> Let's head for Mexico on the fiesta. Yes, sir. Oh. Man alive, this place is swarming with people. You're not kidding. Say, that's the same band they had here last year. I'd just soon be back at the ranch playing dominoes myself. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You just made your mind up that you wasn't going to have a good time, and that's not good. I'll be all right. You guys uh, let me know when you're ready to go back home, because I'm ready any time from now on. Uh, say, let's go up and listen to this Mexican band. That's for me. They're plenty hot. Come, come on, it. Jimmy. They're fixing to play. Let's go. All right, you boys go ahead. I'll just roam around. All right, uh, come on. Let's go up front. Yeah. Here you are. Yes, and you are. It's time to dance to the orchestra will now play on the proportional direction of me, Manuel Morales, and El Rancho Grande. <laughs>
Well, the Spanish two-step, yes. Under the per- personal direction of me, the band... Senor Quilly! Hello there, Manuel. How you doing, you oh, old goat? Uh, old goat? Oh, fine, Senor Dean. And Senor Slois, it's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, nice. We thought we'd come over and take your fiesta part. I mean, take part in your fiesta. Then <laughs> <laughs> you must sing for us a song. Senors y senores, Manuel Morales has a surprise for you. The riders of the purple stage from the barracks ranch across the border will sing for you. Yeah. All right, Manuel, uh, what do you want to hear? A good song of the world. Oh, good. How about let's try Cool Water? Cool Water. All day I face the barren way. Without the taste of water sometime and punch a few cows. Gracias, senor Quilling. Gracias. Hey, come on. We better go find Wakely. Oh, he's like he's not on his way back to the ranch, but now... Oh, he's around somewhere. Somewhere is right. Hey, look over there. Wow. What do you know about that? Hey, look at that little filly he's a-talking to. Yeah. He's as pretty as a spotted pup under a red wagon. Yeah, he's <laughs> having too much fun. Let's break it up. Yeah. Oh, wait just a minute. If I know Jimmy Wakely, he's handing her a line longer than a corral fence. Well, that's right. Let's carry him on a few minutes, and then we'll step in and give him the works. What do you say? Okay, it's a dirty trick, but a lot of fun. You know, you're a mighty pretty little girl. <laughs> you're pretty, too. What's your name? Lolita. What's your name? Jimmy. You want to dance? Oh, no, no. I'm not permitted to dance. Who's going to keep you from it? Well, that is... I would rather stay here and talk with you. But I can't hold you standing here. You can't? What I meant is, well, uh... Well? <laughs> well, uh... This? This. Oh, uh, there you are, Jimmy. We've been looking all over yeah. for you. All yeah. right, you found me. Now, goodbye. I'm busy. Uh, your oh, wife oh, just oh. called and said to bring home a loaf of bread. Your wife? Now, look here. You didn't tell me you had a wife. But I haven't. Jimmy, you ought to be ashamed. Yeah. Ain't you going to introduce us, Jimmy? I see you picking cotton first. Say, Jimmy, have your kids still got the measles? Your kids! <laughs> your kids! Look, honey, don't believe a thing they're saying. I don't have a wife and my kids ain't got the measles. <laughs> now, you guys lay off. I'll bet 
you are, Lolita. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, I've been here all the time. Well, you certainly should not have been talking with these strange men. Hey, excuse us, sir. My name is Wakely, sir. Yes. We've been uh, we've been keeping your granddaughter company. I beg your pardon. This young lady is my fiance. <laughs> uh oh. Didn't you boys say my wife wanted a loaf of bread? That's what she said, and if you ask me, we'd better head for the store. And don't forget some acidity for the kids' weasels now, Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Come, Lolita, we must go. Yes, Wilbur, I'm ready. Well, what do you know about that? And his name is Wilbur. (laughs) Well, boys, you having a good time? Hello, Manuel. Yeah, a bigger time than we figured on. It's good, no? It's bad, yes. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, Manuel, this is Jimmy Wakely. Oh, see, si, Senor Wakely. Welcome to our fiesta. Much obliged, partner. Say, do you see that girl with that fuller going there? Oh, see, si. That is Senorita Lolita Papita Domingo Lopez. <laughs> and the hombre she is to marry. Uh, what we can't figure out, Manuel, is why she's going to marry the old rascal. Well, she is beautiful, no? She is beautiful, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he is rich, and her papa is poor. Her papa likes to drink, so... He must have the money to buy the kids. And she married the rich man. The rich man give her the money. And she give the money to her papa. And papa give the money to the merchant. The merchant give papa to kill. Rich man happy. Pretty girl sad. Papa drunk. End story. <laughs> Uh, where did she live, Manuel? Right over there in the second adobe hacienda. <laughs> Boys, I'm going to do a little investigating. We'd better let well enough alone, Jimmy. You're either with me or you're not. What do you say? Oh, come on, boy. It might be fun. Mm, maybe so, but something tells me no. Manuel, go too. All right. I've got an idea how to break this up. Well, if you ask me, I don't see where it's anybody's business if she wants to marry your grandpa. Nobody asked you, Floyd. Now, look. You boys kind of stay behind I'm going to try to get her away from that old man for a while. In the meantime, Chloe, you stir up a can of red paint. Red paint? Well, what are you going to do with a can of red paint? I'll tell you later. Now, do as I ask you. Manuel, you try and get Wilbur away from her so I can talk to Lolita. The rest of you stick close around. Let's go. Manuel said I would find you here. I'm glad you came. Did you get the loaf of bread for your wife and kids? Look, honey, I ain't got a wife and kids. I'm so glad. Lolita, do you want to marry this Wilbur feller? But I have to marry him, or my papa will get sober and die. Just between us. Just between us, I think it'd do your papa good to get sober and die. I mean, uh... Oh, I have thought so, too. But he wants to drink the tea and die. Why don't you call the whole thing off? Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, but I wish I could for you. Then I'm going to fix it so he will not want to marry you. Oh, that would be good. But how? Roll up your sleeve. I want to put some red paint on your arms. But why? Don't ask any questions. You've got to trust me. All right, Jimmy. I trust you. Thanks. Now I'll put a whole lot of this uh, little red dots on your arms. But I don't understand. We're going to make Wilbur think that you have uh, sacroiliac or something. Right now, Manuel and the boys are breaking the bad news to him. Uh, boys, make your business quick and to the point. My fiancé is waiting on me. This is why we want to see you, Senor Wilbur. And you should not go near her. What are you talking about? And that's right, Mr. Wilbur. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. She and she is such a pretty girl. What is the meaning of this? I sure hate for it to happen to me. I'm yeah, kidding. me too. I hope I didn't touch her kind of accidentally. I demand an immediate explanation. Uh, Senor Wilbur, Lolita. Yes. Oh, poor little Lolita. Oh, it's just awful. If you don't tell me what you're talking about, I'll... I'll... <laughs> you tell him, Senor Wilbur. I never had the courage. Well, it's like this, Mr. Wilbur. Lolita. Yes? Little Lolita. Yes? I just can't do it, Manuel. You tell him. Somebody tell me. Senor Wilbur, Lolita has... Sacriliac. <laughs> has what? Sacroiliac, Mr. Wilbur. What in the cat hair is... What in the cat hair is sacroiliac? You tell him, Senor Quilly. Oh, it's very contagious, Mr. Wilbur. It lasts for years and years. See, and you break out in the big red specks, and when it gets real bad, the red specks break out in the red specks. <laughs> Do you think she has it real serious? Specs so. <laughs> That's a Mexican joke, son. 
<laughs> I had an aunt who died from sacroiliac. Here, here comes the Senorita Lolita now. Don't get too close to her. Uh, uh, Senor Kimby is with us. Uh, uh, notice, notice how he walk away from her? Boys, I've told Lolita what her trouble is. Lolita? Is it true that you have uh, sacroiliac? Uh, sacri I'm afraid so, Wilbur. Why haven't you told me this before? She didn't know it until I told her. How did you know it? I saw the red specks on her arm, and I remember how an old aunt of mine died with it. It's the same thing, all right. Young man, you told me it was your aunt that died with it. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. It uh, it was our aunt. Oh, sure. You see, we're, we're cousins. Cousin Jimmy, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, sure. Cousin Ford. Let me see your arm, Lolita. Yes, Wilbur. Roll up your sleeve, Lolita. Don't come any closer. See? Red specks all over my arm. Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. One of the worst cases I ever saw. Tell me. Have the red specks started breaking out in red specks yet? I'm afraid it's past that stage, Mr. Wilbur. Well, Lolita, under the circumstances, I don't feel you should bind me to our marriage agreement. No, Wilbur. I will give you your freedom. Oh, that's very kind of you. And <clears throat> my ring, of course. Why, why, yes, Wilbur. Your ring. Thank you. Just a minute, Wilbur. Huh? I wouldn't touch that ring for $100. But it cost 150 <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just as contagious as one of those red specks. It is? Well, I... All right. I must be getting back to my ranch across the border. I'm sorry, Lolita, but your father will have to drink home brew in the future. Good night to you, gentlemen. <laughs> well, Lolita, you're now a free woman. Oh, yes. Thanks to you and the boys. Uh, Mr. Jimmy, uh, what I want to know is, what is a sacriiliac? Yeah. Where'd you dig up a name like that? Oh, I don't know. Just... Heard it in a song somewhere. South America, take it away. South America, take it Man, we really put Wilbur on the run. All right, Lolita. You can uh, go wash that red paint off now. <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. I'll be right back soon. Hey, wait a minute, Lolita. Your right sleeve is rolled up. Yes. I rolled it up to show Wilbur the red specks. But didn't I paint those specks on your left arm? Left arm? Well, let me see. That's funny. There's red specks on both arms. And I only painted the left one. Holy mackerel, she's got the measles. That's me. Oh, my God. Well, boys, we'll know in a few days where we stand. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Well, I ain't worrying myself. I had the measles when I was a kid, and the whooping cough with it. What are you so quiet about, Jimmy? I was just thinking, how long do the measles last? Oh, about three weeks. And it's just four weeks till another payday. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? If you think that I'm thinking about going back to see Lolita, then you're a good thinker. He's a guy who didn't want to go in the first place. All right, somebody sound off. Let's sing a song. Anything to get Jimmy's mind off of Mexico. This is the tale of a cowboy who's been down that old Texas trail. Though I've had a lot of fun, now my Roman days are done, and no more I'll ride that old Texas trail. Riding down that old Texas trail, riding down that old Texas trail. Oh, my darling, stay at home, please don't go on the road, don't go riding down that old Texas trail. Jimmy Wakeley. Heard with our guest stars in today's drama was the writers of the Purple Sages themselves, Miss Helen Gerald as Lolita, Joe Forte as Wilbur, and Harry Lang as Manuel. Jimmy Wakeley will return in a few moments.
here is Four Willing, returning to our all-star Western Theater microphone with Jimmy Wakeley. Well, Jimmy, it's always lots of fun having you for company, and I know I speak for all of our listeners, too. Much obliged, Four, and I might say the same thing about you boys when you're working in pictures with me. We've had uh, some great times through the years. Speaking of pictures, uh, when did your next one begin? Well, we're shooting now on, on one of our present series. We call it Singing Six Guns. And we'll all look forward to seeing it. Jimmy, the boys and I have a special rendition of Wonders of the Wasteland, and we'd like to have you join in with us. Then let's commence to begin. <laughs> broken down horse and me. Always traveling, going nowhere. Across the plains and over the hills go we. When I was young, Gun. Up in Wyoming, I loved a gal. I loved a gal, but she loved my pal. She loved my pal. So I packed my bag and saddled my nag, and then I took to Roman. Hollywood, you have heard your all-star Western theater, a V.M. Bear production starring America's great Western singers, Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage. Our guest star has been the Western screen popular singing cowboy, Jimmy Wakeley. My name is Cottonseed Clark. Next week, another great star in a story of the West. Mm-hmm.